Okay, so to do this question, um, the, we've got to first of all read the question. It says C is the midpoint of AB. So if C is the midpoint, we know then this line from the centre here, this line from the centre, it's going to be a bad line, so let's try that better. This line from the centre is going to bisect it. And therefore, if the if we've got a perpendicular from the centre, we know to go bisect the chord. Well, what's that mean? It just means it's going to leave equal lengths either side. So how do we use that? Well, if we've got um, two triangles here, and they have equal lengths there, equal lengths there, because they share that one, and equal lengths there, they're mathematically congruent. Therefore, if that's 10 degrees down here, it's also going to be 10 degrees here. And then this answer to this question is nice and easy it would be 180 take away the 90 degrees and the 10 degrees that we know which will equal 80 degrees so you need to write down the fact that um, the perpendicular from center bisects the chord um, and you also need to write down that the triangles therefore are mathematically congruent or just congruent and then you have to do um, angles in a triangle right up to 180 degrees so I'm just going to write down the circle theorem but you ne obviously need to write down the things I mentioned so perpendicular from center bisects the chord. And the chord is just AB. Um, they don't use this circle frame very much because they're kind of limited to what they can use it for. Um, they can say prove that uh, the x is 80 degrees and you just go for all the things we've just done um, but just to show um, and it will just give you the answer and it will be an algebraic proof or uh, geom geometric sorry proof um, but they don't use this question very or this theorem very much but it is on the syllabus so we do have to know it.